Coronation Fund Managers is headquartered in Cape Town and is one of Southern Africa's most successful third-party fund management companies with assets under management around 300 billion rand. Coronation has a market cap of 8.5 billion rand, a price-to-earnings ratio of 14 and a dividend yield of 7. And this one is a very good bet <laughs> in terms of investment. It's done incredibly well for a number of investors yeah. out there. Look, they really were in the sweet spot. So in the old days, you had Coronation Group listed and then they kind of reorganized and took the holding company up one level and left Coronation Fund Managers as the listed entity. Taste of Toy ran it, and then, uh, you know, Hugo Nelson's running it, and now Anton Pillay's coming in as the management team. They've done extremely well. They've got the most popular uh, institutional and unit trust funds, and they've introduced over time performance fees. So the revenues have been very strong, and the business has done spectacularly. Can it continue to do spectacularly? Yeah, that's the point. We're, we're a bit afraid on, on those on those uh, earning streams from them, especially on the performance side. I mean, if let's you look just look at the, at the graph. If, no, no, it's been, it's been a Yo. brilliant performer from six <laughs> rand a while back to 27 rand or something. So that's what you moment. want to see when you invest in a company. Yeah, certainly. Uh, but you must remember, if you look at normalized earnings, um, then you're probably sitting with a bit of a problem here. There's a reason why a company is trading at a 6.5 or 7% dividend yield. Probably because people believe some of that earnings are not going to come through going forward. They are at the best earnings that they ever had in, the, in whatever they had before. I think um, they've already doubled from where they were in 2007 in a bull market. Um, and that's a bit concerning for me. That, that certainly, they, I think they earn about 1.5% on the assets under management, which is a huge amount at this stage. And that you'll see falling away over time. A bit topish. A bit topish. I quite <laughs> like them, though. I mean, yeah. they've got a particular style of management which is quite uh, enduring let me try and put that in a different way there are some asset management firms that like are desperately in love with commodities so when commodities are strong then they do well and when commodities are not they do badly coronation has a kind of value oriented approach but they are also not afraid of sticking with things that are having a good run so they've been quite agnostic and they've run good bond funds, good money market and interest funds, good equity funds, good absolute But are management. they getting too big? Are they getting too no, big? No, I don't think so. Look, they have closed, you're right, a couple of their funds to more institutional flows. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why they don't just, you know, <laughs> open another one or just take more money, whatever. But they just seem to be, you know, doing well and they've got a good internal culture. They've made a lot of millionaires out of Internally. their existing uh, management team. So that's a challenge. But they're really on a roll, and I think all things being equal, they're going to attract a lot of money because that's, again, how the market works. If you're doing well, then the money keeps coming. They've got rock stars in that stable. So you've got the likes of uh, Charles de Kock, you've got Neville Chester, Neville Chester you've got absolutely. Gavin Jaber. These are a couple of the rock stars of the asset and management. Louis, Louis, yeah, all of those guys. Exactly. Look, they've, they've done brilliantly. They are probably the beloved fund managers out there. But if you go four years back, they weren't. And if you okay. go four years They, they forward, do sell the right a philosophy, value strategy, and they uh, executing it correctly as well. If you know yourself and markets well, that's a place to be invested as, as into their But funds. if you're at the top, but I just, you've only I just got think one from place a to go share point of view, From a share point of view, I think they're a bit expensive. I think their earnings are going to come down with markets, what they're doing currently. Uh, we're not in a bull market at the moment. We've been sideways from the last year. So it is a bit of a toppy situation for me mm. on the earnings side. And um, yeah, I don't think even they um, themselves take their bonuses in their share anymore. But I'm not saying anything more. I want to am amplify that because when the beginning... Well, he's not going to say anything more. You're going <laughs> to take it and amplify it. All right, I'm all ears. Um, um, the problem is that they, it's that market pro-cyclicality. In other words, if you've got a portfolio, a nice little portfolio, because you've been watching hot stocks for five years, then the portfolio does well, then it doesn't do well. This thing is basically following the same trend, just on steroids. So when the market is really good, as it has been in 2010, 11, you see the positive returns. But down here, when it fell to four rand, that was in the financial crisis. So the danger in buying them is that you're going to get the market return just with some extra so type of... So it's like a, a tracker fund. Yeah, and it's like the, the JSE. coronation is a tracker fund. Oh, I'm going to get some hate mail tomorrow. Well, you know, all I can say is, you know, it's what Gerwan says. You're in the share. You're alongside them. There's issues with, you know, where the profits come from. Are they reproducible? What's the market going to do? It's not the safest, most reliable stock fund. on the market. You say coronation's a tracker fund. Is it? 
Well, it's like a two times tracker fund, like in America where they have two times and three times tracker fund, where the stock does two or three times what the index does. All right, well, there we go. Hot or not on Coronation? No, I just think at the moment the earnings are just too hot for me. So I'm hot or not on Coronation? I'm going to go with hot because, uh, as I say, more money will flow in. That assets under management at 300 billion will be 600 billion before you know where you are. And if you're they backing keep going. the rock stars. You're sure. backing the rock stars.